Hey, welcome back to the special Thanksgiving episode of Pack Opening Addict. So today we're going to have a little battle from everybody's favorite set, Double Masters, in which every participant's going to get four packs, and whoever has the highest casting cost of all of their rares and mythics wins a Double Masters box topper. Whoever has the lowest combined casting cost of all their rares and mythics is going to get the Zendikar Rising box stopper. So, we have that out of the way. Let's go ahead and pop this and do a little weird shuffle, which is always awkward. Oh. Uh, ah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Scared there for a second. Like, where's, where's the box over? Where's the box over? Please don't fall in between the cracks. Oop. All right, get that out of the way. Okay. <clears throat> no idea what I'm doing. Just bear with me here. That's probably fine. Okay. So we got four packs for Jamie. Four packs for Emery. Four packs for Jacob. Four packs for Christopher. Okay. Four packs for Tim. And four packs for Eric. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to kind of just go through, and then we'll see where we're at at the end of every round. Hope everybody is enjoying or going to enjoy their Thanksgiving, depending on what time you're watching this video at, here in the United States anyway. Okay, commons. Okay, well, Jamie, as far as on commons, you just killed it with Manomorphos, and it looked like, okay, wasn't it? Still, Manomorphos, calling days. Reclamation Sage, and for first, we have Sunforger. Man, I used to play with this card so often. So three, and an Ion Storm. So that is a six, okay? Let's see if we got anything. Nope, nothing in the foils. So Jamie starts it off with a six. Emery, you are up with your first pack. You know, I really wish these boxes weren't so expensive so I could do these all the time. All right, Core Tapper. Tapper, tapper, tapper. Hidden Stockpile. Naganata. Rage Reflection for a six. Okay. Well, not a hit. That is a pretty good... Oh, we got our first Mythic. We got our first Mythic. Emery, what'd you get? What'd, what'd you... Is that what I think it is? Is that, is that, is that? Holy mother of God! Congrats, Emery. You, even if you don't want a box topper, you won. Oh, Mana Crypt. Gorgeous. Congratulations. Oh, man. Okay. That's a six. Give me a second here. I actually did not necessarily plan on this, but I happen to have it. Oh, that's amazing. Amazing. Congratulations, Emery. Okay, Jacob. I don't know how you're going to follow that up, but let's see if you do. Okay, Disciple of the Vault, Brimstone Valley, Lightning Greaves, always an awesome pull, Blasphemous Act, which is a nine, oh, casting cost, and Falcon Wrath Aristocrat, so you got a 13 out of those two? Let's see if you got anything in the foils, nope, a 13 out of your first pack, okay, Chris, All right, Christopher, what you got? 
Ravenous Intruder, Fencing Ace. Clone Shell, Goro. Maelstrom Nexus. While not the Mythic we're looking to pull, it is still a Mythic. And a 5. And a Blink Moth Nexus. Okay, cool card. Classic. That counts as 5 so far for you. Baldovian Rage. And Fierce Empath. Tim, you are up with your first pack. I can't believe we pulled a Mana Crypt, dude. Dude. Beef Supreme. Darksteel Citadel. Rush of Knowledge. Kadaltha Flame Fiend. And Reshape. That counts as a two. And Conjurer's Closet, which is a five, so it's seven so far. Cool card. Okay, nothing out of the foil and nothing out of the foil. Eric, you are up. We got the Oriok Salvagers, Morkrut Banshee, Gollum Artisan. Is it Gollum or Golem? I, I like I heard it said so many different ways. Like I want to say Golem. Is it Gollum? Sunken Ruins. That is a nice filter land hit. And Grim Lava Mancer. Jeez, that's how you go for the low. Sphinx Summoner. And the Gore Clan Rampager. So a one out of your first pack. All right, Jamie, back to you. Payne Smith. Thirst for Knowledge. Galvanic Blast, and for our first, Magus of the Abyss for four. Maze of Ith, good hit. Okay, so you got a four out of that so far. Cathartic Reunion, and nothing, so a four. That puts you at a relatively low ten so far. Emery, after you just got Beef Supreme all over everybody's faces. Let's see. It's almost like unfair if you pull more stuff now. Invigorate. Yavamaya's Embrace. Ash Barons. Oh my god, you got another Mythic? Dude! Like I said, you already got your fill. Darksteel Forge. So you also get a nine on top of it. A nine. And you have one more rare here. Grand Architect, so that is a 12 so far out of this pack. Magnifying Glass. And Uvenwald Mysteries. So you got an 18 after your packs. Jacob. Started off pretty beefy. Let's see what you've got to follow it up with. Crop Rotation, Pentad Prism, Firewild Shaman, Heat Shimmer for a three, and Terastodon for an eight, so that's an 11. Anything in the foil? Nope, well, foil thirst of knowledge, an 11. Okay, Chris, you are up, sir. So that is three Mythics pulled so far, okay? Which you do get six to eight per box. So we still got plenty of Mythics to go here. Path to Exile, always cool. Chief of the Foundry, Blood Moon, sweet pull. So that's a three. And Noble Hierarch. Man, that is a good rare pack right there. That's a four. And nothing in the foils. All right, Tim.
Thopter Engineer, Treasure Keeper, Drowning Sorrow, Exploration. God, I love that card. I love that card so much. That's a one. Good hit. And a Swift Blade Vindicator. Not a good hit, but does definitely put you in the running for the low. So that's a three so far. And nothing. Ooh, foil Abiletti. So that is a three for ten. Eric, you are up. Sandstone Oracle. Jorah's familiar. Celestia Guild Mage. We got another mythic. Oh my god. You must be kidding me. You must be kidding me. You have to be kidding. What the hell is this? Force of mother freaking will. So you're telling me in the same box. We got force of will and mana crypt. Sheesh. Oh my god. I, I don't have any more sleeves over here. Oh, jeez, and we get a second mythic. Okay, okay. All right, Eric. Okay, I see what you're doing here. That is that is an incredible pack. Force of Will and an Avenge Vine. Really good card in its own right. And you get anything out of the foils? You did not, but... Oh, ho, 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 ho. All right, and that's a nine on top of it. Oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. All right, well, after the first two rounds, we got Jamie at a 10, Emery at an 18, because that last pack was beefy, Jacob at a 24, Chris at a 9, Tim at a 10, and Eric at a 10. Jamie, back to you. So what is that we have? So that's is that five Mythics pulled so far? Is that where we're at? So we still got some more mythics to go. Sentinel of the Pearl Trident. Glass Dusk Hulk. Crag and Wick Cremator. Oh, Walking Ballista. A little double printed there, but good, good pull. That counts as a zero officially, but that's a good pull. So that is a four so far for this particular pack and nothing out of the foils okay emery you are up would you share the mythics you and eric are hogging the mythics okay riddle smith welding jar Woodland Champion. Either Sworn Canonist. Cool card. That's a two. I said share the mythics. Is that a... It's a Geist of Saint Draft. Okay. <laughs> we don't get too fired up about that. All right. So that is a five. And you know what? We have not really hit the foils yet. So those are still in play. So that's a five for Emery. All right, Jacob, it is time for your next pack. I'm getting really good at cutting these right to the uncommons. All right, Valor in Akros. Old Chase Daredevil. Ablet. Isochron Scepter, card that I absolutely adore. And it's a solid hit in its own right. Isochron for two and Oblivion Stone. So that's a five. And nothing in the foils. You still maintain your lead for the high. Okay, Christopher. Seriously, I'm getting stupid good at that. 
It's almost scary. Like, I don't trust it. All right, blood sh uh, Bloodshot Trainee. Is it Charm? Flicker Wisp. Fulminator Mage. And Champion of Landholt for a six. Nothing in the foil. So foil rare is still in play. Two of them. We have not gotten a foil rare, right? right? I don't think we have. Okay. Tim, you are up. Okay, the Valor and Akros again. Hey, Basalt Monolith. Dismantle. Fetid Heath. I will always adore filters, filter lands. Counts as a zero. Sculpting uh, Steel, that's a three. Crypt Swap. And our first rare, Toxic Deluge. Good rare pull. A really nice rare pull. So that is a six. And Eric, fresh off that ridiculous pack. That was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. A criminal. Okay, Gelatinous Genesis. Measures Factory. Drowning Sorrow. Thought Reflection. Cool card. And it carries a pretty high casting cost. So that's a seven. And Reese the Redeemed, because we can't have apparently casting cost, high casting cost with another high casting cost. So that puts you at an eight. Chromatic Star. And Flicker Wisp. All right, going into the last round. Jamie, you're at 14. You're, uh, you're Right now you're in the lead for the low. Emery, 23. Jacob in the lead for the high at 29. Chris at a 15. Tim at a 16. And Eric at an 18. So right now, Jacob has a pretty decent lead for the high. The low is very much in play. At this point, I think only Emery could challenge for the high. But I could be surprised. So let's not rule that out. Buried Rune. Sphinx of the Guild Pact. More Sphinxes. My favorite Sarah Angel Sphinx. Liege of the Tangle for an 8 that is not how you stay in the low. Jesus. Duplicant? Duplicant? Is that a 14? You might as well give him another foil rare mythic. Come on. Uh, well, that puts you at a 28, Jamie. I don't think you're going to be in the low, but it's possible. Emery, you are up. Master Splicer. The Bible. Better hit than a lot of the rares in the set. Enlarge. Disciple of Bolas for a four. And a Brutaclad. Wow. So that's a ten so far. You're going for that high. Yep. That puts you at a 33. Jacob, you're at a 29. So let's open your last pack here. Does Emery take the high, or do you keep the high? Thopter Foundry. Dread Return. Unlicensed Disintegration. And for our first rare or mythic, we've got the Phyrexian Revoker at a 2. Oh, Merciless Eviction. Well, that's that's problem. Okay, unless something crazy happens in the next three packs. That was big for you. So that was an eight so far. Hey, and a foil basalt monolith. So that puts Jacob at a 37. Well, I think at this point we're really going to battle it out for the low. So Christopher, you're at a 15. I doubt you're going to get to a 37. I don't want to call it impossible. 
but that does seem very, very, very unlikely. Okay, Spring Leaf Drum, Death Reap Ritual, Glorious Stance. We got another Mythic, folks. Just when I thought we were done. I think we're at five right now. Yeah, so that makes sense. And it is a Mox Opal. Christopher, congratulations. And it counts for a zero. And then you got a Consul's Judgment for a three. Yeah, a three. That puts you at an 18, which means you, you're very close to winning the low. Um, unless Tim just has some kind of crazy, crazy no casting cost pack right now. Let's find out. By the way, there really should be, there really should be what? One more foil rare or mythic coming up? I'd be surprised if we only got one. That would be weird. Okay, Vampire Hex Mage. But this has been kind of a weird box. Esper Zoa. Cranial Plating. Spell Skite for a two. Well, that puts you in a tie. Tempered Steel. And so you're at a five, so you are not in the low. And a, hey, Foil Fatal Push. So that puts you at a 21. Eric, you are officially tied with Chris right now. You're both at 18. Are you going to get a zero casting cost out of this pack and then I have to figure out what I'm going to do to, the, to uh, solve that? Let's find out. Weapons Trainer. Uvenwald Mysteries. Mirror Smith. Cascade Bluff. See, the, that's what you do when you want to stay at zero. Ah, uh, but you don't... I don't think you care. I do not think you care. Freaking Stoneforge Mystic. Fantastic. <clears throat> oh man, that, that is a fantastic pack. Dude, dude. Okay, Brainstorm Foil. Do we get another rare? No, we do not. We do not. All right, well, as we go through it, so Jamie, you had a 28. Um... I kind of want to give Jamie the unfortunate Womp Womp Award. Uh, sorry, man. That was a that was a kind of a brutal opening. Um, Emery, 33. And hogging up all the mythics. You got uh, Jacob at a 37. He wins the box top. Of. And then Chris at an 18 wins Zendi Tendies. Tim at a 21. And Eric at a 20. All right. Christopher, let's open your Zendi Tendies. Give me a moment on this. I hate opening these single pack. Absolutely despise it. It just feels so flimsy and cheap. <laughs> Come on. I'm going to start bringing scissors. Yeah, that's what I'm going to start doing. Okay. Let's find out. Your expedition. Hey, windswept teeth. Hey, that is always a good pull, especially with considering uh, how many reprints of all the you know enemy fetch lands got out there. That the allied ones, even after Kansa took here, still kind of seems like there's not as many of them around. That is a spectacular pull. Congratulations, Christopher. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for. At least I have been. Jacob, box stoppers. What do we think we're going to get? It's been an interesting box. I have literally no idea what we could possibly expect out of this. See, two cards makes the thing open up easier. It just feels firmer. All right. So just to cover, as I say this every video, there can be two mythics here. I've never seen it personally, but, but many other people have had two mythics out of this. You can't get it out of the VIP, but you can get it in the draft box. Usually the top one's a rare, and then the one underneath that is, if there is a mythic, is where the mythic is usually hiding. So, Fatal Push. Okay. So we start with a Fatal Push. We do... Oh, okay. It is Kalia of the Vast. <laughs> I almost panicked. 
I saw Mythic and Scott Fisher, and I was ready to scream. And then I saw the yellow board. I'm like, oh, okay, it's Kalia. Still an awesome hit. Congratulations, Jacob. Congratulations. So Fatal Push, which is pretty sweet in itself. And then a Kalia of the Vast. Well, I want to thank everybody for playing. This is uh, it's been another fun round of the ultimate sorry of the double masters box battles here. I hope to do more of these, but that is getting tougher to get these boxes. So if anybody's got a good lead on that, let me know. All right, thanks everybody for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. I appreciate my patrons for wanting to do such things. This is a good time and, and trusting me to do this. All right, thanks everybody. Bye.